Hi guys, how are you? Hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel Agriculture Makes Strong. Today, let us discuss about the, the some of the factors which are influencing the crop production. The factors such as like external factors and internal factors we will be discussing in this video. If you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe to the channel Agriculture Makes Strong for further more videos. And let's go into the video for the discussion of uh, factors which are affecting the crop production. Now let us discuss what are the factors which are influencing the crop production and the major factors are like internal factors and external factors. The internal factors will be based on the genetic factors and the external factors will be based on climatic and adaptive factors. Here in internal factors, uh, like I said that it influences the genetic, like uh, it, the increase in the crop yields and other desirable characters were related to the genetic makeup of the plants so the internal plants internal factors which influences the plants for the crop production is the main important factors and also the external factors we are going to discuss in this video in detail and uh, we will see what are the external and internal factors uh, now let us discuss the important internal factors which are influencing the crop production directly or indirectly and we will see one by one that is first one is high yielding ability, early maturity, resistance to lodging, drought flood and salinity resistance it is very most important to the crop to stand withstand the salinity tolerance and also to the drought and flood conditions. And coming to the insect pest and disease resistance, uh, any crop should maintain the resistance to the insect pest and any diseases like it can affect the yield. So uh, it is the uh, one of the factor included in the internal factors and coming to the chemical composition of the grains and uh, uh, quality of grains, quality of straw. These are the internal uh, factors which are influencing the uh, major crop production uh, which are the internal factors and we will see about the external factors what are the external factors like here you can see that there are external factors which are based on the climatic and adapic factors and uh, the climatic factors adapic factors biotic factors physiographic socio-economic factors are included in the external factors where they uh, keep the crop externally uh, factors which affects the crop production and we will see one by one and how it affecting the crop production we will see one by one coming to the external factors first one is like climate in climate there are uh, some of the factors like precipitation temperature atmospheric humidity solar radiation wind velocity atmospheric gases on the plant growth coming to the precipitation if you see uh, the precipitation is very important and uh, here in the precipitation uh, the rainfall is one of the most important factor for the production or for the any uh, vegetative crop growth so here in total uh, precipitation amount and distribution which is greatly affecting the choice of a cultivated species in a place and uh, another point related to the precipitation is in some areas like a low and even distribution of rainfall there will be a uh, dry land forming weather uh, where they are resistant to drought conditions like some of the crops like pearl millet sorghum minor millets and uh, some of the millets are grown uh, where the uh, rainfall rate is low and coming to the heavy and evenly distributed rainfall areas the crops like uh, rice plains and uh, rice in plains and tea coffee and rubber in some western guards are grown so the precipitation is playing a very important role in the factors of climate and in some desert areas you can observe that uh, there will be a grasses and shrubs so distribution of the rainfall is very important than the uh, like uh, total rainfall to have the higher or longer growing period especially in dry lands. Uh, these are the some of the points which are related to the precipitation of the climate factor and coming to the temperature here in temperature the temperature means it is a measure of the intensity of heat energy and you can see that the temperature ranging from 15 to 40 degrees celsius 
uh, for the maximum growth of the any agricultural crops it is very important the climate that uh, ranges from 15 to 40 degrees celsius and the it influences the crop plants and also the vegetation uh, the temperature which also affects the uh, crop plants and the vegetation and the germination growth and development of the crops are highly dependent on the temperature if you notice the crops which are uh, like uh, they, they are directly uh, what they are uh, directly connected to the temperature and uh, you can see that the effects of leaf production and expansion and flowering these are all influenced by the temperature and coming to the physical and chemical process uh, in the temperature like within the plants are governed by a temperature and the solution and solubility of different substances in the plants will be dependent on the temperature and these are the factors which are depending on the temperature and minimum and ma maximum temperatures of individual plants is called as cardinal temperature the cardinal temperature should be maintained for any crop uh, for the good growth and the production and if you see that the temperatures ranges for the uh, some of the crops like rice you can see uh, the minimum temperature is 10 optimum temperature is 32 and maximum temperature is 36 to 38 and in the wheat you can see the optimum temperature is 20 and maximum temperature is 30 to 32 degrees celsius and maize uh, the optimum temperature is 20 and maximum temperature is 40 to 43 sorghum Optimum temperature is 25, maximum temperature is 40, tobacco 29 is the optimum temperature and maximum temperature is 35. These optimum temperatures and maximum temperatures will be asked in any competitive exams. You should be noted for this special climatic conditions and temperature degree Celsius. And if you see, observe, the next factor is atmospheric humidity. Uh, we will be talking about atmospheric humidity. It can be called as relative humidity. In the relative humidity, if you observe in the relative humidity or atmospheric humidity, where the water is present and uh, they are in the atmosphere in the form of uh, invisible water vapor. And what is meant by relative humidity means like uh, it is the moisture present in the air to the saturation capacity of the air at a particular temperature is called relative humidity and it also influences the crop directly and influences the requirement of the crop water requirement of the crop and uh, relative humidity is 100 percent it means that the entire space is filled with the water and there is no soil evaporation and plant transpiration the relative humidity of many uh, crops will maintain like 40 to 60 percent is the suitable for most of the crops and if it uh, exceeds like 80 percent uh, humidity is maintained in some very few crops and in uh, when relative humidity is very high there will be a chance of pest and disease outbreak so the care should be taken that uh, the relative humidity should not be maintained more and coming to the solar radiation we will discuss about the solar radiation from germination to the harvest the even post harvest crops are affected by solar radiation here in solar radiation the photoperiodism is responsible for response of plant to day length and photosensitive phototrophism is followed in the solar radiation and the wind velocity coming to the wind velocity the basic function of the wind is to carry the moisture and the heat and to maintain the crop very uh, particular and optimum climate conditions and here it causes soil erosion uh, where the wind moment for 4 to 6 kilometers per hour is suitable for the most of the crops and the wind dispersal of the pollens and seeds is natural and necessary for all the certain crops and helps in cleaning uh, cleaning produce to farmers increases the uh, wind velocity increases the evapotranspiration and also spreads the pest and the diseases so care should be taken that wind velocity should not exceed most of the um, uh, most uh, speed should not be ma uh, maintained or uh, it happens and coming to the atmospheric gases on the plant growth like uh, there are many atmospheric gases on the uh, atmosphere like carbon dioxide 0.03 percent oxygen 20.95 percent nitrogen content like 78.09 percent organ content like 0.93 percent and the others like 0.02 percent and coming to the 
carbon dioxide it is very important for the photosynthesis and also uh, diffusion process from the leaves through stomata occurs taken by the carbon dioxide and coming to the oxygen it is very important for respiration purpose and nitrogen is very important for the plant nutrient content purpose and certain gases like uh, CO, CH4, HF released to the atmosphere are toxic to the plants and these are the some of the factors which are influencing the crop production uh, included in the factor climate and coming to the next factor the external factors like some of the external factors aerobic factors like soil moisture soil air soil temperature soil mineral matter soil organic matter soil organisms soil reactions these are included in the aerobic factors of the external factors which are influencing the production and coming to the external factors in detail we will be discussing that in soil moisture content uh, it will be showing Soil moisture essential for the photosynthesis and water is the principal constituent of growing plants and coming to the nutrient and mobility content here here you can see that nutrient availability and mobility increases with the increase in the soil moisture condition and coming to the soil air here the soil air provides where aeration to the crops and for the absorption of waters by the roots and for the nutrient availability and coming to the soil temperature it affects the germination and uh, it affects the physical and chemical process going on the soil and it controls the microbial activity coming to the soil mineral here in the soil minerals the content of soil is derived from the weathering of rocks and uh, minerals as particles of different sizes and there are some of the sources of the plant nutrients like calcium magnesium sulfur manganese iron and potassium etc and coming to the soil organic matter here in soil organic matter it supplies all the major minor and micronutrients uh, major micronutrients and increases the water holding capacity and coming to the soil organisms in the raw organic matter in the soil is decomposed by different microbes and uh, which turn and releases the my plant nutrients and nitrogen fixation fixed by microbes in the soil is available to the plant crop so these are also important that soil uh, organisms which also increases the crop production and uh, some crop some only increases the crop production and some is harmful to the crop and coming to the soil reactions here in soil reactions i want to talk about the ph rate and the soil uh, reaction is the ph of the soil where it affects the growth uh, directly and indirectly and uh, the nutrient neutral soils with the ph of 7 are the best for the most of the crops and the soils with the acidic like less than 7 and uh, alkaline like greater than 7 and the soils with low ph are injurious to the plant and uh, reaction to the ph of the soil is uh, low and interferes with the availability of other plant nutrients. These are the aerobic factors which are influencing the crop production. Coming to the external factors which are based on the biotic. Uh, in biotic we will be having like plants and animals where in the plants in biotic factors the competitive and complementary nature among the field crops are when grown together and when different crops of cereals or legumes if you see they are grown together and they have the mutual benefit results for the higher yields so if they are grown in the uh, mutually they'll get the more yield and coming to the competition between the wheat and crop plants uh, as parasites for example like striga parasite weed on the sugarcane crops here is the biotic factors uh, they also influences the production and coming to the animals in animals there are earthworms which are friendly farmers friendly and uh, honeybees and the wasps which are useful for the uh, pollination purpose and coming to the protozoa on nematode snails and insects uh, they are uh, they are also help in organic matter decomposition while uh, while using the organic matter for the for the other living organisms these are the biotic factors the plants and the animals coming to the 
uh, external factors of uh, physiographic in physiographic we will be seeing that topo topography topography means the nature of the surface earth where uh, uh, topographic factors affects the crop growth indirectly and if you see the altitude it, altitude also uh, one of the factors which are influencing the production increase in the altitude causes decrease in the temperature if temperature decreases there will be an increase in the precipitation and mean velocity if precipitation increases there will be a uh, break outbreak of the pest and the diseases so uh, there should not be increase in the altitude and coming to the steep of uh, steepness of the soil slope uh, here in the steepness the results runoff of the rain water and loss of nutrient rich uh, top soils will be taken place so some steepness uh, we, we can avoid the steepness of the slope and uh, coming to the exposure to the light and the wind the moisture slope exposed to low intensity of light and strong dry uh, winds may result in poor crop yields and coming to the next that is socio-economic factors in socio-economic factors i want to discuss that uh, the society inclination to the farming and members available for the cultivation also uh, the like a man manpower for the working working purpose of the crop production also increases if crop crop has the uh, no availability of the workers there will be many weeds and this also infects the production and uh, uh, varieties like uh, breeding varieties where the resistance to the pest and the disease can be made and the socio-economic condition of the farmers greatly influences the uh, purchasing of inputs on resource mobility like uh, there will be uh, farmers like marginal and small medium and large farmers this also affects the crop production these are some of the external factors which are influencing directly or indirectly for the crop production and this is the about the video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel